my name is Mark Jones. Welcome. The first dive of my open source scuba dive dive computer is going to change dive computers forever. Arduino fans, ESP freaks, Solace devotees, and basically anyone else who found technology to be exciting, especially those in my age group, 8 bit, 16 bit days. That's where we started. This brings back the excitement. If you've ever felt a little bit disillusioned after going through the IT industry, if you ever thought, how do I get that magic back? This is how it worked for me. It might work for you too. And guess what? This project and what you see today is all being documented on hackaday.io slash zxfan. You're gonna be able to build one for about 120 pounds minimum. But actually, if we have some hacker out there who can find another scuba cable, another deep sea cable, or can get telephone cable or S video cable working without any leaks, you're going to be able to get it much less than that. So I'm going to get ready because this is a big day. We've done a five meter test in Putney Swimming Pool. We're at the lovely Raysbury Dive Lake near Staines, West London. Look at this day. I tell you right, this is the best dive day we've had all year. And now I've had my friend Simon turn up. Simon, do you want to say hi? Hi. Here's Simon. Hi there. So Lovely Simon. Lovely day for uh, a new step forward in underwater technology. Absolutely. And you know what? Anyone can build this thing. If you're a teenager, if you're a kid who likes to play with techie stuff, or whether you'd like to be a kid who learns how to do techie stuff, especially girls, because there's no reason why girls shouldn't be doing this too. So, I'm going to get ready. I have a chat with uh, my good friend Simon here, because he hasn't seen this before. Hey guys, so I um, had a long briefing session with Simon, because this is the first time either of us have done anything like this. So we've got to make sure that we're going to be safe, that we're going to stay aware of our surroundings and what each other's doing and um, you know that's that's really important that I don't become obsessed with this new device I've built I've got to make sure that I'm there for Simon if he has any problems so it's a beautiful day this is like the best day diving I've had here for over a year uh, it's been cold here otherwise it's been cloudy but look look at that sky couldn't ask for better so um, some people ask me well, what do you wear when you go dry suit diving well, firstly, you, you're meant to stay dry. So if your dry suit doesn't keep you dry, then don't use that dry suit. So get rid of it and get a decent one. If you get wet, it's not doing its job. If you get cold, then you just have to wear more stuff underneath. So what am I wearing? I'm wearing basically like a very nice fleecy top. It's fleecy on the top, inside, and it's sort of a bit shiny on the outside. Same for the bottoms. Then we've got ski socks, and then we've got ski thermals as well. And today, I'm probably going to wear a little fleece as well. So that's basically it. I'll then have some thin gloves, sort of thermal gloves. And then on top of that, um, we have some dry gloves, which actually are the same as a, um, as a um, what do we call it? Like washing up glove. So like a marigold, except they're black. And uh, the idea is that hopefully we stay perfectly dry, we stay relatively warm and uh, enjoy it. So there you go. That's what we do for dry suit diving. And uh, apart from maybe July, August here, when it's like 20 or 23, it's probably best to use a dry suit. It only takes one day, two days, to do a dry suit training course. If you've got paddy open water, then you can do that. And it just means that you can dive when you're not on holiday. If you're, you live in the UK, you can come to a lovely place like this and dive without having to spend all the money of going to a foreign country and um, etc. So here we go, I better get ready because Simon's much more ready than I am.
might go down. Yeah. Because it's good reference to see what, it, what level it's floating at.
Is it on? Yeah, 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 it's flashing. Yeah. Okay, so we keep getting reboots and it keeps trying to reconnect to my home Wi-Fi, which is kind of unfortunate since we're here. <laughs> and uh, actually, it's trying to connect to my iPhone Wi-Fi as well, which is in the box, but I haven't turned the GoPro, I haven't turned the hotspot on because I don't want to drain the battery. Yeah. So um, there is something weird going on with the software. You can see that it's now reconnected. It says no GPS, and now it should yeah. get a fix. And it's decided to restart again. So what we can do in water, I'm going to reboot it. Yeah. So we got a controlled shutdown because if we just take an Arduino and we take the power out, yeah. if we're storing anything into its flash memory, it could corrupt its disk, you know, its yeah. SSD. So what I'm going to do is I turn it off. When I turn it off, it doesn't turn off immediately. It's controlled shutdown. Yeah. So the light's off. Once that thing has stopped trying to connect to the internet, we'll see it do a little fade out. Yeah. It's connected to my iPhone at the moment, so in about 10 seconds time, it'll give up, no connection, no GPS. Yeah. Now, and we fade out, so it's turned itself off yeah. safely. Our lights are off, so now I'm going to restart it. Let's see how fast we get fixed. So both, both computers are trying to connect to the internet now. Yeah. If I had the third hand, I'd press one of the buttons to shortcut it, but let's just well. let it go. We got a green light flashing here, so we got yep. fixed already. So when these puppies have finished trying to connect, we will be ready to go. And normally, you wouldn't have any of this nonsense trying to connect to the internet because, well, at this point in time, the internet does nothing for us. It's yep. just for me when I'm at home, I can upload new code without taking them out of the box. Yeah. So actually, with this, if I wanted to, if I wanted to take a day at Raysbury on my own, doing a bit of solo diving, bring my laptop around. Go and sit in the nice dive hut, have a coffee, and then maybe do a bug fix and then come back into the water. <laughs> All without taking anything out of the boxes. Well, wow, that's cool. So, let's hope this is going to work. So, no GPS. He's got a green light. And now we'll find out whether, we, uh, whether we've got something more serious going on. Right, just to interrupt you, yeah. the battery on your GoPro says 26%. Okay. That's <laughs> That's all right, you keep going. Yeah. Right, okay, so uh, the official technical term is is being a bit flaky. <laughs> so it keeps on. So the thing, the funny thing is, both of these units are using the same code, and for some reason, this one is restarting. So that suggests to me that either. The power on the USB has been detected as being low, or the power drain, which I'm trying to pull out of this unit to power all the sensors, yeah. it might be getting a bit too much. So that's an interesting one, which I'm not going to do anything about here. So what I suggest we do is we just do what we were going to do before. We're going to we'll go to the source, yeah. and then we'll just take a good old-fashioned bearing yeah. to get back to the Jesse. I, th I think that's perfect. Cause I that's perfect. Yeah, so... Because I wouldn't mind moving because I'm getting cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go.
some bugs, we've had some flakiness, we've had, I think, a good dive? I think a very, very good dive. Very good dive, we saw a fish in the end, where are all the fish anyway? Let's get out of here, let's get some food, let's get warmed up, yeah. let's do the essentials and then we can have a good chat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good Cheers. stuff. Cheers. Thank you Simon, it's been an honour of diving with you today. Cheers. Yeah, I'm ready otherwise. Okay. Ah, Deep Deradler. Good, good friend and colleague from BGC Partners who isn't there anymore, neither am I. I'm going to have to talk to you about Prometheus and getting this bad boy logging on Prometheus in real time so that we can go and do diagnostics straight after coming out for the dive. I think that's a good enough reason to get on the internet. Because it's basically Yeah. Yeah. Can we just get the menu? So the menu, there we go. Homemade soup. Cool. Look at that lush grass. We're not allowed on it either, so I better stop there. And the weather is just as good as when we went in. Super. Right, that was a success, and we're going to talk about it later on. See it.